I want to talk about two questions. The first question is why, and the other question is how. So I'll use the example of a commitment or a decision to practice improvisation every day. You can substitute any other uh, commitment or decision about doing something, creating a new habit maybe every day. That can be your, uh, just substitute in whatever you're working on. So I make the commitment to practice improvisation 10 minutes, 10 or 20 minutes every day, let's say. Really there's no time limit on it, it's just get into the practice room, put on a piece of music, practice improvising. Okay, that's my commitment. That's something I wanna do out of the joy of my heart. Something happens and I don't do it that day. Uh, maybe I don't do it two days in a row. Maybe I'm feeling unmotivated, who knows? But once I don't do it, our first, my first inclination is to ask, why am I not doing it? What's wrong with me? I immediately go to why, why is this not happening? <clears throat> and you can see it's like a figuring out kind of angry uh, sort of, let me get out my toolbox and try to fix everything and figure it all out kind of energy and vibe. What I'd love us all to do instead, and what I try to practice to do when I remember, is to ask how. How did I not practice improvisation today? How did I not do that thing I said I wanted to do, that I was super excited to do and I committed to doing and made a decision to do? How? How did that not happen? Well, you can, e you can already tell that asking how is like, it's, it's all about curiosity and like, hmm, that's, that's interesting. It's what I really wanted to do and I didn't do it. How was that so? So what I can do then, it frees me up to look at the process of everything leading up to that decision to not do the thing. You know, how was it? Well, I had the intention to do it, but, um, you know, I... I got up and I did all my other morning routines and then I was going to pick up my guitar, but then I decided to check my email and then I went down some rabbit hole there and the next thing I knew and, you know, then I had a call I had to make and sort of how at every moment when I had the chance to go do it, I listened to another voice in my head. You know, I thought, oh, this voice came up and said, oh, you've got to check your email. Oh, let me just, you know, respond to these first couple of messages and then I'll go in. So sort of distraction, how it happened was a distraction and a voice in my head saying, oh, let me just get X done and then I'll go do it. No, <laughs> that voice is always lying to me. Let me just is always, is a cue for a bamboozle of distraction and confusion and let me put other things before the thing that I really wanna do. It's a voice in my head telling me, distracting me, wanting to keep me busy and wanting to keep me from doing the thing that I really want to do, that, that I call self-hate, that's called self-hate. So that, that uh, question, how, lets me map the whole process up until I don't make the decision. And once I do that, then I, I actually have a lot of freedom and a lot of insight is available. Oh, so okay, so whenever I hear that voice that says, let me just, I basically should do the opposite of that voice and go straight to the practice room. So the energy is totally different. When I'm, when I'm figuring things out and when I'm like in my head trying to craft and perfect like a, something that makes, you know, that's no good. But just asking the question, how? How did this, how did this not happen? Frees us up to look at the process and be open to insight. Makes us curious, makes us more relaxed and not have to beat ourselves up. It's just a process. Just look at the process, notice things. So I hope this helps. When you next don't do the thing you said you wanna do, instead of asking why, ask how. Check out the process that happened right up to that point. If you have more questions about this, let me know in the, in the comments down below or send me a DM and uh, yeah.